E3 is about four weeks away, guys. Four weeks. That's it. Three to four weeks. And we're going to be getting some heavy hitters. You know, hopefully Microsoft will talk about Project Scorpio. Um, Nintendo will be hopefully talking about their Switch and their new lineups of awesome games that I hope will come true. Uh, Square Inc., Kingdom Hearts 3. Come on, Square Inc., give us Kingdom Hearts 3. We've been dying for Kingdom Hearts 3. So, you know, there's so many things happening in, in, in actually E3 this year. It's just going to be mind-boggling. It's going to be crazy. But one of one of the franchises I love to death, I really love the franchise, Assassin's Creed. Yes, I love Assassin's Creed. Ubisoft will hopefully be talking about it at, at actually E3 and pretty much just confirm or deny a lot of these rumors hopefully we'll get a demo you know we'll you know we're, we're gonna get something so pretty much in honor of assassin's creed let's talk about these rumors let's talk about these supposed links um i will go down the list of all of the leaks that i have found using reddit 4chan you know everything and let's just go through them one by one. The first leak on this list that is compiled, it pretty much states that the leaks aren't by accident. You know, they are controlled links by actually Ubisoft, by the by the creators to help keep the leaks, you know, to help keep the hype alive, to help keep the, you know, just the hype train going. And it says the second one is that the two pictures that were leaked out, um, they're actually legit. They're not fake. They're, they are legit. And that they're part of the demo that's going to be seen in Ubisoft's E3 this year. So while that is the first leak, and it pretty much states that it's not a, that these leaks and stuff like that, the pictures are not leaks. So that's pretty cool. I really hope it's true. So um, let's keep on going right here. So it says leak number two says the new scouting mechanics, the eagle, the Eagles placeholder name for now is um, Akam. I think I said it right. I hope Lee. I said it right. So the Eagle that we always see in all the Assassin's Creed games is going to be getting some love. Um, pretty, pretty cool. I don't really see it being anything, you know, fun. But, you know, it looks pretty cool. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, on third leak, there are no towers in the game. You will be using your eagle for side activities and point of interest. There's a limit to how far you can go away from the protagonist. That's pretty cool. That's something new because, you know, for everything, you know, in terms, in terms of synchronization, stuff like that with the area, we always go on top of the towers. We sink, you know, it shows us the map and then we free fall. So this is a new way to think. Um, I guess since it's going to be set in ancient Egypt or in ancient times, you know, they're not going to have large story buildings. So. Um, that seems to be pretty cool. Uh, another leak. The characters will all speak English like in Assassin's Creed Unity. That is because of the Animus 5.0, which has perfected and translation issues of the older versions. You will be sitting in it, not moving around like in the movie. Which kind of I would actually, you know, I, I, I honestly like the the Animus that they use in the uh, Assassin's Creed movie. I actually liked it. It wasn't really that bad. Um, leak number four, we have a new modern day protagonist, obviously he's male and mixed race already trained as an assassin and has a new team that helps him achieve his task given by William himself. Wow. William, Rebecca and Sean all make appearances. So we're going to get acknowledgement, you know, hopefully, you know, these are all leaks. These are all rumors. So take them with a grain of salt. So hopefully this one's true. Um, leak number, let's see, one, two, three, four, uh, six. So it says leak number six, it says modern day is more like Assassin's Creed three's modern day with bigger areas and more character interactions. The modern day does more to highlight the fact that assassins and Templars still exist and are having a big impact on the world today. So actually I did like modern day Assassin's Creed three because it made it part of like it made it feel like it's part of the game as part of the overall story and Assassin's Creed 3 and 4 are are my favorites besides Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood and Revelation so pretty much the middle section of Assassin's Creed is my favorite ones so let's move it on um it says the next one it says a piece of Eden is used during the exodus and the crossing of the Red Sea playing into the whole overarching mission 
of the modern day protagonist, not main focused of the story though. Well, the pieces of Eden has always been a main focus in the Assassin's Creed game. So obviously, you know, they're not going to make an Assassin's Creed game without a piece of Eden. So I was, so I'm really hoping they don't because piece of Eden is one of the prime, you know, stories and overall, you know, the overall driven fact of the Templars and it, and actually Assassin's are these pieces of Eden. So let's really hope they do something. Um, it says here, the protagonist doesn't actually know when it's set, but last he heard it was set between 1400 and 1200 BCE. It's set during the dynasties. So pretty much what, you know, other leaks and rumors says it's going to be an ancient times. It's going to be real ancient times. Um, this next leak actually comes in form of the picture, the second leak picture that was shown earlier. It says there are no naval com combats. It's really only a sailboat used for travel purposes. So no naval, no Assassin's Creed Rogue or Black Flash ships. Just a traditional sailing boat for transportation. Okay. Which actually, Assassin's Creed Black Flag actually did like the naval because I like being a pirate. So, um, so let's see. The another leak. Doesn't really sound like a leak, but... It says he he states numerous times that the world is breathtaking, beautiful, and that there is a ant and there is ambient stuff going on in the open seas. Better to sail than miss this stuff by fast traveling. Whatever. <laughs> uh, says here another leak. You will be traveling the Eastern Mediterranean with your boat, obviously. So let's keep on moving on with the leaks. Some of these leaks are getting boring. So next leak, you will be traveling the Eastern Mediterranean, the Eastern Mediterranean with your boat. Pretty cool. Uh, ambient music is in the game. That's another leak. Um, another leak. There is no multiplayer. Everything is gonna be a hundred percent single player, and there will be microtransactions like in Black Flag and Assassin's Creed Rogue. I hate microtransactions. Screw you, microtransactions. Screw you. Um, it does say that multiplayer is still on the cards and it might be, it might return. So, yeah, I hope not. I really hate um, Assassin's Creed multiplayer. I really do. I hate them. I don't think they're great. Um, you know, I play Assassin's Creed for the single player story mode and I think majority of people will do it too. So, I don't really look. Um, another leak. A lot of work went into the immersion aspect. Yeah. Uh, another leak. Plenty of tropical areas, mirages, oasis areas, and various islands dotted around the sea are beautiful. And hopefully you could actually do something in them instead of just being beautiful. Um, another leak. The main protagonist in the past is a quieter version of Altair. Basically looks like him slightly darker in skin tone. Not black like Adewale. And let's see. And a trilogy with him is being planned. Greece comes next and he's in there. No idea about the third entry at all. So there hopefully this will be the new Assassin's Creed trilogy. Kind of kind of like with the Ezio Auditory trilogy, what they did with him. So um yeah. And next link. Next leak. Uh, it says the main protagonist in the past is apparently Isl Islamic. I think that's what it says here. Or from Israel. Somewhere around there. Pretty cool. We're going to get a Middle Eastern guy. Um, it says here a uh, next leak. The combat system has been reworked. Enemies have different attack patterns and will actively try to flank you. That sounds. That seems to be awesome because the... The fighting mechanics, the combat system, Assassin's Creed, I mean, come on. They're very simplistic at best. And it's very easy to just kill your opponents. So I would so I would love for this leak to be true, you know, with a more, you know, diverse and more difficult com combat system. So let's move on. The next link. Stealth is much more integrated into the world. You can hide on corners and crowds and buildings and in bushes haystacks you know kind of imagine it similar to syndicate and unity but much more well thought out and implemented social stuff is emphasized a lot in the game you'll be blending into crowds and with groups of slaves an awful lot 
<laughs> pretty cool. Next leak. Wow, there's a lot of leaks here. I really hope most of these are true. Some of these actually do sound interesting. But next leak goes to free running is the same as Syndicate and Unity, though it adds in some fun of the flair from Watch Dog 2. And it's a lot smoother and more fluid. I really hope so. Um, Unity Syndicate, I think, probably had the best free running out of all of them, um, with the original and Assassin's Creed 2 being the worst out of the free running. Um, it says here, there are no plans for making an Assassin's Creed game set in Japan, as well as World War One and World War Two. They only did China for the fans. Whoopie-doo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. If there's a will, there's there's a way. But yeah, I don't really see it going to World War One and World War Two. That's pretty modern. And Japan, you know, it'll be more like a ninja game than an Assassin's Creed game. So I can understand that. Uh, the next leak. Engine is a reworked version of Syndicates, but looks drastically different to Syndicate and Unity. Um, they took Unity's backlash very, very badly. And they've been working heavily on Origins to make sure that, you know, they made sure that all these bugs and situations do not happen again. So the next leak was is for Nintendo owners. It says no Switch version. It will only be available on PC, Xbox One, and PC. Kind of sad, but, you know, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, and 3 on the, on the Wii U were not really that good. So the next leak, it's going to come out later this year, probably in November. Every other game is in November, so might as well. The next leak, Hidden Blades used in the game is a very early version, similar to Altair's, where it requires losing your ring finger. There's also bows, shields, various swords, spears, and throwing knives. Pretty cool, much like every other Assassin's Creed game. Um, the next leak. Our protagonist in the past doesn't have a name in the beginning. Later, other characters start calling him uh, Shed after the deity that represents salvation. Pretty cool. So let's move on. We're almost done with the leaks, guys. The next leak comes to the idea of an ancient Rome Assassin's Creed game was floating around the office. And some of the stories is that Caesar wasn't a Templar, but shared some of their ideologies. And the senators that killed them were part of the Assassin's Brotherhood. You know, pretty cool. Uh, I would like to see Assassin's Creed game in, in actually ancient Rome. I think it would actually fit well in the whole Assassin's Creed storyline. You know, if this Assassin's Creed or Origins is set in ancient Egypt, why not ancient Rome for the sequel? Uh, your skills. This is another leak part of the skills tree. Your skills will be done in a talent tree. However, the differences between the skills trees are drastically different and you can only ever have a certain amount of skills active at one time. Uh, one tree is combat, another stealth, and final one is movement. Uh, pretty weird. I don't know how that's going to work. I will have to actually play the game to understand what they're trying to say with this one, but you know, seems to be pretty cool. Seems to be, you know. Um, I will have to see how it really goes. Uh, the next one is about your Assassin's Creed outfit. So let's read this leak right now. It says, outfit-wise, there's a few predetermined outfits, as there are in every Assassin's Creed game. However, there are different pieces of equipment that you can buy. And it will go over your base appearance, much like Assassin's Creed Unity's uh, equipment. Eh, I'm not really fond of the equipment. I don't really care. Um, it says, next leak, the character customization is more like Assassin's Creed Unity. actually did like Unity's character creation pretty good. And the final leak. Dun, 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 drum roll, please. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It says, the final leak is that you could actually... Um, it says... <laughs> uh, sorry, guys. It says that... Putting your hood on and off is now optional and not mandatory. Wow, what a final leak. Drum roll fail, guys. So, wow. A um, lot of leaks there. A lot of leaks, I know. I will have the links to them so that way you guys can read it and not have to listen to my voice. So, a lot of leaks. Ubisoft has a lot to show in E3. Some of these leaks, I want them to be true. Some of them, I don't. 
But what do you think, guys? Do you think that these leaks are good? Do you want these leaks? You know, comment below, guys. And let's pray some of these leaks are true. Let's pray some are not. And can't wait for E3. Are you guys excited for that also? And as always, guys, have an awesome day, guys. Have an awesome day.